Harper. It's an inspirational author, coach, speaker, travel writer and designer. This morning we want to talk about staying positive when things get tough. It's a great series. It is. Chicken Soup for the Soul, best-selling author. Please welcome happiness expert Shannon Kaiser. How are you? Hi, Hi. it's so good to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Her seven-day plan to reshape, re-energize, and refocus your mind and your body. We welcome the author, Find Your Happy Shannon Kaiser. Nice to have you here, Shannon. Hi. We have the wonderful Shannon Kaiser, author of Find Your Happy. Well, our next guest says it's time to update your bucket list, so here to share her ideas. We welcome the author of Find Your Happy and travel writer Shannon Kaiser. Good to see nice you, to Shannon. Here. Hi. Well, what is the idea behind this for you? Yeah, well, you know, it's great because so many people have these lists of things they want to do before they die, and it's really because we want to feel more fulfilled and we really want to live the no regrets lifestyle. Right. And I started to think as I was checking things off my list, I was, there's so much more to life and we don't need money to be fulfilled. And that's where this list really came about. And I find as a life coach and I work with a lot of people, they're very hopeful. I hope I'm going to lose weight. I hope I'm going to win the lottery. I hope, hope, hope. You know how that hoping to lose weight does not cause you to lose weight. It's exactly, it's exactly it. It's not until you take a step, you know. And this is true for us. You know, in my own journey, I was always searching. We say, we'll be happy when we have more money. We'll right. be happy when we lose weight. Or right. It's always outside of us. But it's really about switching it and coming back into yourself and recognizing you can be fulfilled now. You can feel abundant. You can be happy. Uh, my depression came back full, full throttle. I remember one night I was crying on the floor and the tears were just so heavy. My body was aching as the tears poured out of me. And I finally said, I can't do this anymore. There's got to be a better way. And the first thing, my inner voice said, follow your heart. And I returned back to writing. And that's where Find Your Happy came from. We have to be honest with ourselves. We have to look inward. I think the root cause and what's really causing all of this crisis is really when we are out of alignment with our heart's true desires. But the problem is most of us don't really know what our heart wants because we're, we're chasing outside success. We're chasing what's in front of us. We're looking for how we can be happy as long as the people around us are happy. But when we really get clear and honest with ourselves, that anxiety can settle go to your heart and listen to what you really want it's that nudge that gut feeling that says you know I want to call my old friend I haven't talked to in a long time I want to take a trip on my bucket list I want to do something that's really in your heart and honor that seven days every time it comes up a lot of us get stuck in comfort zones and we kind of whether we go the same route to work we buy the same coffee we talk to the same people and this one's really about growing your comfort zone so you can expand as a person but an emotional overeater it doesn't matter what anything can trigger you the dog barking somebody yes. come being a little bit late you you know not getting enough sleep every single thing happens to be an emotional reactor and then of course food is right there to help you through it but of course we know that food is not the answer it's really about feeling your feelings and saying okay I feel frustrated now I feel overwhelmed this is a big one yeah. because a lot of us feel unhappy and stressed out because we have a desire to make a difference in the world and we want to help others and helping is as easy as how can I help instead of what can they do for me what can I do for them so for the next seven days just put yourself in other people's shoes it doesn't mean contributing all your time money and energy maybe it's letting the person in rush hour in front of you opening the door for a co-worker just little things I was yeah. going to say, Shannon, just I talking. feel like I could just talk to you every morning and I'd have enough inspiration to get up and get into my day. You were absolutely awesome.